to be born with disability in this pastoralist community in Lycapia is tantamount to a curse or so they believe. The community values children who can perform chores such as herding livestock or fetching water. Those who cannot perform such duties are mistreated and are considered a liability. That is the painful path Jacinta Sirakan, a nurse working at Aga Khan University Hospital, has gone through after she gave birth to a disabled son 20 years ago. Jacinta says over the years she has witnessed Sajinda Seti being discriminated against not only by his peers but also by adults in the Isma community in Laikipia North. They are locked at home, no one takes care of them because the mother is the sole breadwinner. The mother goes to fetch firewood, she goes to fetch uh, water, she's the one who also goes to look for food. She says there are instances where such children are killed at birth or abandoned to die as families migrate in search of pasture. So many children at the end of the day, they are just left, they are neglected and uh, that makes them even more vulnerable, that makes them even more marginalized. Her sentiments were shared by Margaret Meshami, who is a mother living with a disabled daughter. Ata ata baba yake anasema sasa hii kitu ni nini? Na nini hata kutupa au tuwashe tu sababu kama kitu kama hii chuka sasa tapeleka wapi? Sasa mimi naambia Mungu ti unajua sababu ni Mungu ti amenipe nimepea. The painful experience forced Jacinda to launch the Sanchinta Foundation named after her disabled son to champion for the rights of children like him. The foundation gave the disabled children a treat as the year began. Jacinta says the event was meant to sensitize the community to bring up all children fairly, regardless of their physical or mental status. And today we've only come to celebrate with them, to eat with them, to play with them, and to show them that children with disabilities are important people in the society. She said she will push for the rights of children living with disabilities in the Ma community until the point hits home. Samson Kitavi, Channel One News.